Good morning, Detroit. How are you today? I am Pastor Shirley Warden, and I want to welcome you to Do the Right Thing. I am also the pastor of God's Way Deliverance Ministry located in Southfield, Michigan, and I'm also the president of Nurturing Women, a ministry that is founded on Titus 2, 3 through 5. And I just want to say to you out there today, you that are watching, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I just want to thank you for tuning in today, and I just know that you are going to be blessed. Amen? Amen. You know, as I was been talking to the Lord and meditating on exactly what the Holy Spirit wants to say to you today, I just want to say I think it's going to be good because it's going to be sort of off the cuff. Amen. What I've been telling everybody else, God has been testing me in that same thing, and that is learning to flow with the Holy Spirit. Amen. But before we do anything at all, we're going to open up with a word of prayer. And Father, I just want to thank you and praise you and worship you for this day. And I want to thank you, Father, for the honor and for the opportunity to come before your people. And I thank you, Father, that you have a now word, a word in due season for your people today. And I thank you that they that have an ear to hear will hear what the Spirit of the Lord God has to say unto them this day in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You know, we've been hearing over and over and over again that God is doing a new thing. And I just want to say to you today, he is doing a new thing. Isaiah 43 and 19 say, Behold, I do a new thing. And I want you to know it shall spring forth. We have got to get to the place where we truly with all of our heart and with everything that is within us, trust God. Amen. He is testing us. Amen. And he is proving us just to see, do we really believe that what he say he will do? Amen. God is doing a new thing in this earth. And I want you to know today that God is also doing a new thing down on the inside of you. Amen. And, I, you know, there has truly been a shift. Things have shifted. And if you have noticed and if you have been in the presence of the Holy Spirit, you will know for yourself that things have shifted. Even you, you are not the same. Amen. You have changed places in the realm of the spirit and you're not the same. If you will notice, everything about you has changed. The way that you minister, the way that you pray, everything about you has changed. I'm here to tell you today, you that have an ear to hear what the spirit of the Lord God is saying to you today, there has been a shift. Things have changed. And just as the seasons have changed, summer's over. Amen. So if you don't know it, let me tell you today, summer is over. And we are in a new season. Not only naturally so, but we are in a new season spiritually so also. And I want to tell you today, and I'm going to tell you just like the Holy Spirit has been ministering to me. Shirley, and I'm saying it to you too, you cannot operate in this season that we are in the same way that you used to operate in. Everything has changed, even your prayer life. God is calling all of us to come up higher. Amen. We have to get a new perspective. Hear me today. We have to get a new perspective. And the higher you go in the realm of the spirit, you begin to see things a little more clearly. You begin to see things from a new perspective. Amen. You begin to see through the eyes of the Holy Spirit. And I'm here to tell you today, if you don't want to change, you are going to miss this season that we are in. Because God is doing a new thing. And you are going to hear me say that more than once today because I need you to get it down in your spirit man once and for all. Settle it today. God is doing a new thing and he is doing a new thing in you and you pastors that are out there. I want to say to you today, God is doing a new thing and you cannot let me tell you, you cannot operate in the same vein that you used to operate in. God's doing a new thing. He's changing everything. There's new strategies. 
And God wants you to come up higher. Amen. And he's speaking to you today in this season. And God is saying to you today, come up higher. Come up higher. Because God wants to take you higher and he wants to take you deeper. Amen. You cannot afford to just stay on the banks. You have got to come out into the deep. And God is calling many of you out into the deep. Amen. And some of you, because you don't want to change, you like the old way. But just like the scripture say, you can't put old wine into new wine skin. Let me tell you right now, if you, you have got to get the mindset, I've got to change. You know, there are some things we are comfortable in. We like the old way of doing things. We comfortable. We don't want to move. We don't want to change. Well, I'm here to tell you, I, hey, what can I say? You got to be willing to change because God has changed everything and if you are comfortable where you are that's not a good place to be in because God is on the scene and he's coming to shake you up he's shaking all of us up you know the way that I minister at church everything about me I am noticing is changing because he's teaching me to learn to flow with him. He's teaching me, Lord, that this is a faith walk. And we forget sometimes that this is a faith walk. This is all by faith. And God is leading us into some areas. He's leading us into some places that you would think not. And we got to learn to be led by the spirit of the true and the living God. Amen. It's not your way. It is not about you. It's about God and what he wants to do in the earth. And what it, he uses us. He uses us. He uses people to get what he wants to get done in this earth. Can he use you? Are oh, you just so stuck on having it your way. You know, we sing the songs, yes, Lord. We sing it. Oh, we speak it. We preach it. We do all of this. But when it comes down to the test, is it truly yes? Is it lip service yes? Or does it truly come from your heart? Yes, Lord. I may not want to do what you say. I may not want to go. This is way beyond me, Lord. I don't see this. But yes, I'm saying yes to you today, Lord. Because this is your will. This is your plan. And this is your purpose concerning me. So many things God has spoken to me about over the years. I didn't see it. I did not understand it. But because I truly love the Lord, and because I truly with all my heart want to please him, the answer was yes. Yes, Lord, I'll do this. And let me tell you something. One thing I have learned on this journey with the Lord. He will not fail you. He will not let you down. He's not going to bring you to an open shame. He's not going to leave you hanging. He has proven that to me over and over and over again. And let me say this to you today. God is requiring more from you in this season. The prayers of yesterday, the prayers that you prayed yesterday, he said, I want more. The songs that you sang, everything God is saying to you out there today, I want more of you. I want more of your time. I want more. Do you hear me today? God is saying, yes, he's talking to you. And he's saying to you today, I want more of you. Amen. So I am saying to you today, it's time to come aside. And it is time to seek God with all your heart. Get into that place and ask him, Lord, what are you requiring of me? Lord, what is it that you want from me today? So that you will know that you are on the right path. That you can render unto God that that is due you. Do you realize you are full of information. You are full of information. Information that has not even been, you have not even tapped into. Don't you know that? 
Don't you know that there are gifts in you? There are things that God has instilled and planted down on the inside of you. And I don't care how anointed you are. There are still some areas, there are some, still some places that you have not even tapped into. Don't you know God has some great things in store for you? If you will but hear and obey what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you today. Hear and obey. Because it's all about instructions. It's all about following the instructions that God has placed down in your heart. It's all about the instructions. You know, we can do many things. We're talented, a lot of us. We're talented, a lot of us are just gifted. There are some things we can do with no effort whatsoever. But let me tell you, what God is doing in this season, it, it's not about your gifts. It's not about your talents. It's about the anointing. You can be gifted and you can be talented and then not be anointed. Did you not know that? I've heard many gifted people, and I've heard people sing and could not sing nearly as good as that person that was gifted and had a voice to sing. But because that person, the anointing was upon that person, you could tell they had been in the presence of the Lord. It created a whole different atmosphere. And you knew that you knew that you knew that that person had been in the presence of the Holy Spirit. And I'm here to tell you today, we're in a season now when God really wants to show himself strong, when God wants to reveal himself to you that he is God, and that if he said it, he will do it. One of the things he's been dealing with me about, and that is hold me in remembrance of the things that I promised you. And he's been telling me, he said, I'm putting a demand on the gifts that I placed down on the inside of you. But he let me know that I could also put a demand upon the things that he has spoken unto me. He said, hold me in remembrance. And you know something, that's what I've been doing. I've been holding him in remembrance of the things that I promised him. Not that he needs to be held in remembrance, but it encourages me. It encourages me. It builds me up. And I've been holding God in remembrance. He promised me my seed. He promised me that they would live and they would not die, but they would live and declare the works of the Lord. And you know something? I've been holding God in remembrance of his word and the things that he has promised me in this season. And you have the same right and you have the same opportunity to do it too. Because he said, hold me in remembrance. Declare to the heavens what God has promised you. Amen. And settle it in your spirit, man. Once and for all, God said it, and I choose this day that I'm going to believe the word of the Lord. I'm going to believe what he said. He promised me wealth and riches was in my house. Yea, doable riches and righteousness. God promised me that he had caused money to come my way and it was in my hands. He promised me that just as I had given, it would be given back to me. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over with men given to my bosom. That's his promise to me. That's his word to me. And I'm here to tell you, regardless of your situation, regardless of your circumstance, God is saying to you, stop looking at what is in your hands and look at what is in my hands. Faith. He's calling us to a higher measure of faith. And all of us, don't tell me, oh, well, you know, he, some of us are special. He said all of us had been given a measure of faith. Now build on what God has given you. Build on it. Build on what God has given you. That's what I'm doing. And when you hold him in remembrance of the things that he has promised you, that's what you're doing. You're building on that faith. You're building on it. Amen. And you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger in your spirit, man. And you will find out your spirit, man, will begin to rise up. And when situations and circumstances come against you, that is contrary to what the word of God said, that word that you have hid in your heart, it will rise up and it will speak for you. 
and it will change your situation. It will change your circumstance because God is all about change in this season. This is harvest time, people. This is harvest time. It is time in this season to reap the things that you have sown. It's time. And you know something? I don't intend to miss it. Hear the instructions of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord today. Because God is moving by his spirit. And I'm here to tell you, yes, yes, yes. He is doing a new thing. And it shall spring forth in this season. If you dare to believe. If you dare to hold on to what God is saying to you in this season. One of the things the Holy Spirit was saying. He said, surely faith. It's all about taking risks. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're not a risk taker, you're not walking in faith. If you got to see every step, you got to see every move, that's not faith. But faith is taking risks. It's stepping out on what God has said and trusting him, taking him at his word that he's got me. He's got me. And he's not going to let me fall. That's what faith is all about. Abraham, he was a risk taker. When God called Abraham to come up from where he was and go into a land that he know, knew nothing about. He took a risk. And that's what you are going to have to do. Get out of the way. And let God be God. Get out of the way. It's you that are standing in the way. Sometimes, you know, we get angry with God. God, why haven't you moved? God, why aren't you doing anything? He's doing what he say he will do. But you have to remember too, it is twofold. What has he told you? Are you holding up your end? Are you doing the part he told you to do? I'm moving. You hear me? I'm moving. And I'm moving because God said it was time for me to move. And I'm talking about right now, naturally so. In my hands, if I look at Shirley, and if I look at what I have in my hands and what I can do, I will be where I am. I'm moving. And you know, my first instruction was to prepare. To prepare. Prepare to move. So he's testing me. If I truly believe the word of the Lord, if I truly believe that he say I am moving, I will prepare. And let me tell you, I've been preparing. I've got me some beans and stuff. I've been pulling out stuff. I am preparing to do what God has told me to do. Then I can say, okay, Lord, I did my part. Now I'm waiting on you to do your part. Because so often we just sit back waiting on God and we do nothing. But what did the word of the Lord say? The word of the Lord said faith without works is dead. That means you got to do some, put some leg work to that faith. You got to do something to show and to prove that I believe what the word of the Lord has said. When God told Abraham to get up and move, he didn't just sit there. He got up, he packed up his family, he packed up everybody, and he began to move. And I'm here to tell you that if you will but obey the instructions that God has given you and do what he has told you to do, one by one by one, step by step, it's going to take you right into your destiny. It's going to take you to your wealthy place. Because the enemy wants to keep you out of your wealthy place. And I'm here to tell some of you today, you are right on the edge. You are right on the edge of stepping right over into your wealthy place. Right into your promised land. And the enemy is fighting you tooth and nail to keep you from entering into what God has for you. But I'm here to tell you today, stay the course. Stay the course. Look not to the left. Look not to the right. But keep your eyes on God and lean not to your own understanding. That is the word of the Lord to you today. Don't lean to your own understanding. Don't allow him to get you out of position. Don't allow him to get you off focus. 
stay the course. Stay the course because you are right. You are right on the edge of a blessing. And the enemy knows that. And he is fighting you tooth and nail. He's coming against you with everything. God said, I, uh, you got money. God is telling you every need is met. Every provision has been provided for you. And right now, it looks like all hell is breaking loose. Right now, it looks like you don't have hardly two pennies. You just make it ends meet. But keep your eyes on what God has spoken to you. And hold him in remembrance of his promise. And I am a witness. God will not fail you. God will not let you down. He said, I'm not man. I am not man that I should lie. Not the son of man that I should repent. If God said it, you can take it to the bank and you can cash it. I'm here to tell you today. I've tried it. And I know for myself what God can do. And it's still, and even... When you pass certain tests, believe you me, all it, the fight gets a little bit tougher each time. But you know something? I have something that I can look back on. And I can say, but God, you brought me through this. You're going to take me through this. You did it here. You'll do it there. Because you are the same God. And, you, and your word I want. And I can trust you. I told you, I have a ministry called Nurturing Women. And let me tell you, we just had our ninth breakfast. And I know you've been watching the excerpts from that. And I want to tell you this. This year was my biggest challenge. Every year, God has, I mean, every need, I've always had the money right up front to pay. God has given us favor with the people that we work with. But let me tell you this year, when I sat in the chair, to pay, to write out this check and to pay this woman for the money that we owed. Let me tell you, I didn't have it. For the first time, I did not have it. But I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was in the will of God. And I knew I did not do all of this for vain. It was not done in vain. And I sit there and I wrote that check out for the amount. I was about maybe $2,000 short of what I was supposed to pay. I wrote that check and I gave it to that woman. And when I walked out, let me tell you, before night fell, we went to the bank and she began to count, the, to put the money in. We had every dime. You hear me? We had every, every dime. When I tell you God is a God of his word, I sit here knowing what I'm talking about. We had every dime. Do you hear me? God met the need. If you will but just do what God has promised and told you to do, that's why I tell everybody, all you have to do, make sure that it's God. Make sure that it is he that told you to do what you said. Make sure that the motives and the intent of your heart is right before God. God is going to back you up. This is his word. If I look bad, God, you looking bad. This is your word. This is what you told me to do. We had every penny. And the rest of them, they knew nothing. They didn't even know. I didn't even tell everybody. It was only two of us that knew what was going on. But God had met that need because by faith I sit there and I wrote that check, holding him in remembrance of his word. Lord, this is what you said. This is what you told me to do. So today, I just say to you today, you that are sitting there, maybe you are discouraged and you don't know how you're going to make ends meet. I just want to say to you today, trust God. Know that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. And God will reward you for your faithfulness. He is a faithful God and he's faithful and he always rewards faithfulness. So I'm saying to you today, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And know that God loves you 
He will not bring you to an open shame. He will not let you down. If you, by any means today, maybe you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, all I have to say to you today, all you have to do is repent. Ask God to come into your heart and save you. Change you into his image. Change you. Amen. Because your way is not working for you. You need Jesus in your life. I'm Pastor Shirley Wharton. And if for any reason you need to get in touch with me, you can reach me at 313-838-4877. My email address is shirleywharton at att.net. And I just want to say to you, be blessed and know that God loves you. Amen. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy, D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. What's going on, y'all? It's Mr. Bell. Some know me as Anton Quarboy Bell. Others know me as Elder Anton Bell. I am co-CEO of Bell Global Network, VGN TV 2090. And I want to invite you right now to get your own broadcast. I'm calling all ministers, all politicians, all business owners. Get your own broadcast right now, starting at $99. And if you have an idea for a TV show, we can bring your idea to reality. We have packages available that include production and facilities. Also, we have advertising packages starting at through to $25. So don't hesitate. Give us a call at 313-355-7877. Once again, that's 313-355-7877 to make an appointment today. You never ever let me down and when I'm sinking and sin, you never ever let me drown. You're my life, girl, my security. You took my insecurities to put me in the lion's den and took out all the fear of me and gave me a limit to undeniable faith. In your arms, I am safe and for that I give you praise. My soul says thank you. My soul says thank you. Alice Consultation Services, LLC. Experienced professional social work practitioner. Path to a better life starts here. Two locations Harper Woods and Detroit. We can help you improve your memory. We specialize in how to improve your memory workshops, including individual, family, group. Mental health services. Also, services include lifestyle changes, in home care, utilities, disability, adult daycare, nursing homes, substance abuse community resources, therapeutic training sessions, spiritual counseling. We have different payment plans to fit your needs. Call today and make an appointment and allow us to serve you. Once again, Alice Consultation Services LLC. For more information, call 313 615 6323. Once again, that's 313 615 6323.